Let me get started with the growth forecast because, of course, we do have a very important year ahead in 2022 with the elections, not to mention, of course, aggressive tightening by the central bank, rising prices. Where will growth come from? Well, you know, uh, forecasts about Brazil have been consistently wrong. Uh, Brazil's GDP dropped less than the advanced countries during the pandemic crisis. We recovered faster, and uh, we are growing at a higher rate than the average, not only of uh, Latin America, but also Eurozone and also the advanced countries. Mm. I, think, I think forecasters will make it wrong again. Uh, Brazil uh, is exhibiting a very sharp recovery. We probably will be growing five and a half this year. And it's true, inflation is going higher. Uh, half of inflation is food and energy all over the world. So there's nothing new about it in Brazil. So uh, but we, we, we uh, launched uh, structural reforms in the midst of the pandemic. So we launched an independent central bank. For the first time, the political cycle will not be operating during elections. We have right. an independent central bank. And at the same time, we have triggers fiscal triggers that freeze expenditures. As the first government that, just to give you an idea, we were spending 19.5% of GDP before the crisis. Mm. When the crisis hit us, we went to 26.5%. This year, now, we are back to 19.5% again. But you and next are, year. you are trying to kickstart again the social program on Celia Brazil, right? And that could be a problem for yes. the spending cap as well. Yes, so but, well, true, we are renewing the, the programs. We are phasing out slowly the direct income transfers uh, during the health pandemic. Uh, because we have mass vaccination now, Cherry, we fully vaccinated 60% of the Brazilian population. We are ahead of the U.S., and we vaccinated 90 percent first shot, first doses. So we are getting a very sharp rebound now because people are getting a safe return to work. But at the same time, uh, doesn't that mean that if you have stronger growth that you'll also see more price pressures? Are you expecting inflation to have peaked, or could it get worse? Well, I don't think it will get worse exactly because we're moving with the fundamentals. Uh, the fiscal policy, like I told you, we are moving from a deficit, a fiscal deficit of 10.5% to 1.5% this year. So we control public expenditures in general. We just expend temporary increase in health expenditures, not permanent increases like used to happen. Uh, in other uh, items of public expenditures. So we made a social security reform, we made an independent central bank, fiscal triggers, and most of all, we changed the regulatory framework in Brazil. So oil and gas, uh, uh, natural gas, oil, road concessions, airports, uh, Brazil is open for business. We are really transforming the Brazil state. And yet and yet, when we're yes. looking at, say, the Brazilian real, it's been under a lot of pressure. Investor sentiment seems to have been hit, especially there doesn't seem to be a credible commitment when it comes to fiscal responsibility. What would you tell international well, markets? That, that's a nice point, because when you look at the fundamentals, we move it from one and a half debt of GDP, percentage of GDP debt, to ten and a half, and then we bounce it back to one and a half, and next year we'll be next to zero. Expenditures went to 19 and a half for, to 26 and a half of GDP, bounced it back this year to 19 and a half, and next year 17 and a half. So for the first time, one government in Brazil we went up after four years is spending less than at the beginning. So the fundamentals are in place. But mm. now you have now you have the political noise. Right. This is the explanation. Brazil has a very vibrant democracy. All is under suspicious abroad. I said in Davo, we are going to surprise the world, and we made but the social security reforms with people on the streets asking for the reforms. Political second noise. Year, mm. Second year, second year, we spend 10 percent more than the average of advanced countries and double, preserving lives, preserving jobs. We preserved 11 million formal jobs. It's the first time there is a recession in Brazil. There was no right. increase in formal 
formal unemployment are you, because we preserve 11 million jobs. Are you concerned so, about political noise really affecting the markets again next certainly, year? Certainly, certainly, certainly. This is what it's all about. The fundamentals are in place. The monetary fundamentals are there. The central bank is raising rates. Uh, the fiscal side is under control, entirely under control. The auxiliary grants that we give uh, the, 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 the uh, Bolsa Familia, like we call it in Brazil, is vouchers for right. poor people. Uh, they are under the ceiling, under the spending cap, re re observing and respecting the fiscal responsibility law. But uh, there is a huge political noise. People who lost the election three years ago didn't accept the result. They keep beating their drums. We understand that. It's a very vibrant democracy. For the first time, the left was defeated by liberals and conservatives. And we're headed into another election next year. Are you considering extending pandemic emergency aid? I mean, that's been a key concern as well, well right? Well, only, only if a new variant kicks in. If, if it should the disease uh, have an upsurge in the disease, we'll do the same thing we did before. We increase uh, expenditures, layers of protection to our most vulnerable citizens. Uh, but it is not what is going on. With mass vaccination and safe return to, to, to growth, to, to the jobs, mm. uh, what is going on in Brazil is true. Inflation is going higher, but fiscal and monetary policies are there. And there will be growth next year. Brazil will be growing you next year. You have talked about a concern about Brazil becoming deindustrialized. Why are foreign firms leaving the country and what are you doing about it? Well, uh, Brazil is still the fourth largest um, um, receiver of foreign investments. Number one is China and the US, uh, one and two. Third is just a hub, Singapore. And the fourth largest receiver of foreign investment is Brazil. We have already $100 billion of investment commitments. This exactly because we are selling airports, we are divesting uh, in roads, railroads, mm. uh, state companies. We are selling postal service. We are selling the largest uh, uh, energy uh, company in Latin America, which is Electrobras. So we are really divesting uh, state companies. Uh, right. We are privatizing. And, and we have already $100 billion commitment of investment for the coming years. So mm. growth is not going to be the problem. Problem mm. is inflation. And inflation. You, know, you know, we know the cat that chases after this rat right. is Minister. an independent central bank, and we did it.